Humanity's greatest fear is the fear of the unknown, the vast emptiness of deep space, the crushing pressure and darkness of the ocean, and what lies beyond that obscure corner. The human brain is constantly trying to predict what will happen next, allowing it to prepare the mind and body in the most effective way possible for everything and anything. If you put a person in an uncertain situation where one wrong move could mean death itself, that person is most likely going to to be paralyzed on its feet, unable to do what needs to be done. That's simply human nature. Ever since I began the Doomsturbing series, there's one mod for Doom that everyone and their mother have told me to check out. That mod being do not play that what. Huh. Interesting. Before we dive onward, let me give a huge shout out to to Fort Sync, your local gamer 9851, Gamers 1000, Mr. Midloaf, Daniel Glover 9985, Lightning Bond Gaming 5958, Petarnov Kovic 4028, and Swala Palo for suggesting this mod in the comments section. If you know about any other disturbing doom what I haven't made a video on, be sure to leave it down below in the comments section. I'll greatly appreciate that. Downloading do not play from the the internet was quite the challenge, as the only place that had a download link was a website called Game Banana. What? And honestly, I feared for my computer's integrity. Here, a user going by the name of CraftGP posted this on this weird website. Do not play Dotwad, a mod for Doom 2. Alongside a description stating that he's not the owner of the WAD, and one single image that some of you may find quite disturbing and recognizable. One thing to note here is that the WAD file is one megabyte. For comparison, the original Doom 2 was 14 megabytes back in 1994. So, for Doom's technical standards, this is very strange. Before we begin, YouTube doesn't like disturbing Doom Watts for some reason, so would you kindly leave a huge like? My sanity and lower back would be grateful. Also, what's your greatest fear, and how did you overcome it? For example, my greatest fear is the darkness. I just can't stand it. With that being said, let's download the Watt file, drag it into GC Doom, and do not play our way straight into this. But before we get into the unknown, this video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, one of the most instantly recognizable and played mobile games in the market. With over 700 different champions to choose from, personalized to your style, and super hard boss fights. One of the toughest bosses in Raid, if not the toughest boss, is the Six-Headed Hydra. What? with each head being its own unique boss fight. The Head of Blight is all about poison, the Head of Torment stuns your team with true fear, the Head of Mischief steals all of your buffs for itself, the Head of Wrath is basically a true damage dealer, the Head of Decay deals damage when you heal yourself, and the Head of Suffering deals damage when you attack it. In other words, this boss is really hard, and I bet none of you would be able to beat the Hydra in your first try, but you can always prove me wrong. Talking about harsh challenges, Hydra Clash is a new competitive mode where your clan and four other clans race each other to see who can beat the Hydra the fastest. If you like this sort of challenge, then what are you waiting for, my friend? Click the link in the description or pinned comment to join the raid. If you do, you'll get the epic champion, knight errant, and other very useful things. Things that you can use to kill demons. While you're at it, you can find me in the game as Midnight S2, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. Badass Giga Chats only. You can also scan the QR code on screen and get all the badass bonuses as well. Just do it! Special thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video and I really hope you enjoy. This mod begins with an ominous, out-of-place Doom guy staring right into our soul. And if you didn't notice, there's no title screen and MIDI tracks to welcome our arrival. Hola Doom guy, como estas? No music, no intro, I guess. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> and you know me, my friends. If we're gonna dive straight into another disturbing Doom War, it's nightmare difficulty and absolutely nothing else. A la verga me vale verga. Hola. 
a la verga. Not even one second inside and I already have an idea of what I'm going to encounter. Also, this mod reminds me a lot to Slender. Fun fact, I absolutely despise playing Slender back in 2013. Okay, so what's the other map? There's two monsters, zero secrets, and this is map one entryway. I can see nothing in the other map. Is this supposed to be a maze? Yes, Midnight, this is in fact a maze. Get going. What am I supposed to do in this situation? No. No. Stop. Stop beating. What's the point of this? For this playthrough, I wanted to explore everything this mod had to offer. Even though the map is just one big maze, it houses a lot of pretty disturbing secrets. Did I mention that we have no weapons and ammo on a freaking Doom game? So whatever we find in this maze, it's run or die. I'm just gonna stop moving for a second. Oh, it's beating faster. Why is it beating faster? Even if we have no weapons, this is fucking doom. All we gotta do is open the console and give ourselves every... You gotta be kidding me. I guess running is indeed our only option in this game. The heartbeat or, or, or whatever is sound is... Uh, I'm late. Ni siquiera sé hablar inglés. Maldita sea, no me hagan caso al chile. Learning the mechanics was quite a revelation. Even if we are the motherfucking doom guy, if we find one of the two monsters, we are dead. As simple as that. At this point, I still didn't know what to do. I was just lost. And when things couldn't get any worse, this happened. How to beat this map or level? Oh, oh, what? 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 Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Wait, I'm gonna be crushed to death. Me van a aplastar. I'm gonna be crushed to death. No. no. Ah! Oh. For some strange reason, a trap was activated that led into my death, but I do not believe I was actually squished to death, even if the game tells me otherwise. I believe that what killed me was this weird head. Hmm? I remember you from somewhere. Just like any other game, when you die, the game resets. What was that? What, what happened? Okay. Second playthrough, I guess. But why can I... <laughs> I don't like jump scares. Me too, Midnight. Me too. How do I... Oh, oh, no, 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 no! For my fourth playthrough, I decided to take a more sneaky approach. I guess that's why we move slower when we press shift instead of moving faster. Okay. How do I be... No, mames. Acepté mi muerte. At this point, I just didn't know what to do and where I needed to go to beat the game. I haven't been able to decipher what do I need to do, if I actually need to do something. Or maybe this game, this mod for Doom, is all about me running through this maze, trying to find the exit when it doesn't even exist. I kept moving forward trying to find whatever and when I began considering just quitting the game altogether, this happened. What the fuck is that? ¿Qué verga eres tú, wey? What are you supposed to be? Oh, 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 Hello? Hello? Ugh. Oh! For some reason I do not understand, it is not following me around. Instead, it seems that it is guarding this sort of blue artifact. And if that told me something, was that I absolutely needed that artifact for myself. Maybe that's the key we need to find for the true ending. I'm gonna grab it and make a run for it. You are safe. <gasps> Doom guy, my. Que verga, que verga, what? Que, wait, wait.
the fuck? I just couldn't believe what just happened. After we grabbed the blue artifact, we got a text pop-up that said, you are safe for now, and got placed where the game began, and that's simply not right. Somehow, something doesn't want us to progress through the game. What the fuck happened there? Hijo de tu pinche madre, estúpido puñetas baboso puto. Maybe I need a break. Puta madre, wey. Yeah, I'm taking a break. Fuck this game. While I was taking my delicious break, Paloma barged straight into my office, and I conveniently lured her into playing this mod for Doom. At first, I was just waiting for Paloma to get scared shitless. She gets scared very easily. But then, Paloma asked the golden question that I never even thought about. ¿Los sonidos me dicen algo? In the beginning, I thought that the drums we can hear in the background meant that it was getting closer to us. The faster the frequency, the closer it was. But now that I think about it, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the faster the drums go means that we are getting closer to our objective, that being this blue artifact. And right when I thought this was it, this happened. Sonó algo. No voy a voltear, no voy a voltear, no voy a voltear, no voy a voltear, no voy a voltear. <laughs> Why was Doom Guy hanging with this monster? When I saw this, it hit me. Maybe Doom Guy is the second monster we have been searching for. But if Doom Guy is a monster, then what are we supposed to be? I decided to confirm my hypothesis in the drumming frequency, and I guess I was correct. Where am I when am I going to find it? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> Oh, what's this? This mod for Doom is all about running through this giant maze in search for the artifact, while it follows each and every move we make. Sobres way, sobres way, Kyle, 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 Kyle way, sobres, so sobres. Ah! Also, this map has a timer. If you do not beat it in time, you get squished to death. I tried my best to beat this map flawlessly, but it is just full of bullshit. I can't do it. And well, this is the end for this short mod for Doom. Or is it? While I was investigating this maze as best as I could, I was able to find this. A secret pit hidden behind an artificial wall. Apart from the Harry Potter reference, this doesn't make any sense at all, mainly because this is catalogued as a secret when there are no secrets in the map. Also, if you open the console commands and type map title map, you will be able to explore the title map where Doom Guy appears. Hmm, so are you Doom Guy? Or what are you supposed to. The the fuck? I know. Por favor, no. This room is more bright, is brighter than the other rooms. I don't know if that's a good sign. Let's check it out. It's just an empty hallway with nothing, with absolutely nothing going for it. I think I was bamboozled. Good god. I don't know about you, but having this type of easter egg hidden in a place not even 99% of players will explore makes it even more uncomfortable. I went and explored this whole area to see if I was missing anything else, but I couldn't find anything of value. In fact, I found nothing at all. Now, let's get experimenting. Using the cheat code IDDT while having the auto map opened will reveal the whole layout of the map. If we use it again, 
the auto map will reveal all playing entities, that being myself and it, better known as Evil. Evil's behavior is really, really strange. Not only is Evil's behavior random, but it also lays traps. Traps that are Doom Guy himself. La traición, hermano. And well, this is where this mod actually ends. Or does it? What would happen if we jump straight into another map of the game? This is Doom 2 after all, and this maze is called Entryway, just like the first level of Doom 2. By knowing that, let's open the console and jump straight into map 2, Underholds. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this a single bit. Not only did this blew my ears off, I can't hear anything, but these damn monsters are fucking invincible. It didn't matter how much I shot at them. Chain gun, super shotgun, BFG 9000, they simply wouldn't fuck. Can die. Another weird fact is that the pinky was repurposed to be the blue artifact we need to find in the maze, and that creates some very weird moments if you progress through the game. <laughs> no, mames. Que chingados están haciendo? And well, this is where the mod actually, actually ends. Or does it? To understand what the hell we just witnessed, we need to go back, as back as 2012, on a website called Deviant Odd. On the 12th of December of 2012, one day after my birthday, a user going by the name of Imaginary Massacre posted this on the forums of Deviant Odd, a picture of Evil, originally known as Firebrand. Not much is known about Firebrand, the only thing we know is that this is the the origin of this weird monster. Some of you may recognize Firebrand as a 29th face from the very well-known meme Mr. Incredible Becomes Uncanny. I tried my best to find the original post for this word, and even if I was unsuccessful, I was able to find a comment from the creator of the word, that person being Mr. Raveyard. In quotes, this was a joke personal creepy mod to scare a friend of mine. It was made in a couple of hours, probably long before 2000. 2014. The original had a few differences which were removed because they weren't working anymore. The mod would start without any title map and put you straight into the maze. The title map would be visible for just a split second. Cheats were disabled and activating them would kill you, and whenever you died, the game would crash. If I had to be honest, this version of the game sounds way more disturbing. Too bad it has been lost forever. Even if this word is as simple as it can get, a big maze, droning drums in the background, and something chasing you in the dark halls, I think it's that simplicity that makes this word very creepy. That, or maybe I'm just too easily scared. I think it's the latter. What do you think? But anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And do not forget to leave a huge like and let me know your thoughts about this one down below in the comment section. Also, be sure to check out Raid Shadow Legends down in the pinned comment. That would help the channel out tremendously. Have an awesome day, my friends, and stay safe. Adios. Bye. Hello, my beautiful patrons. Huge shout out to Andrew, Experimenter19, Faulty Demon, Brandon Hudson, Leonard Hunter743, M Dama, Saint Overkill, Andy Gonzalez, Dan the Man, Aaron Warren, Nick Irving, Romney Hasegawa, Frank Soros, Cody the Loner, Jakufumu, Koru Kenshi, Megaton, George, Unknown User Zero, Awesome Bra, and Florian Haplowitz. Thank you so freaking much. I freaking love you.